In this presentation, I will discuss the available data on the role uh, of ablinatunumab uh, by specific T cell engager, followed by transplantation in pediatric patients uh, uh, treated uh, with this agent. I will start uh, discussing uh, the initial uh, data obtained in patient with second relapse uh, or relapse after transplantation or with resistant disease. And then uh, I will address the issue of the data obtained uh, uh, with the Rialto trial clearly documenting the importance of leukemia burden uh, for obtaining a response uh, to blinitunumab. Uh, in my presentation, I will also address uh, the results uh, that have been reported at the last uh, meeting of the American Society of Hematology by Pat Brown on behalf of the Children Oncology Group, uh, in particular in that study, the American colleagues compare and patients with the first high-risk relapse or a first standard-risk relapse but poor MRD clearance after the end uh, of induction therapy. The role of uh, two cycles of blinatunumab in comparison to two courses of standard of care chemotherapy for consolidating the state of remission uh, in, uh, uh, before transplantation. And the American colleagues uh, uh, reported clearly that uh, the use of blinatunumab uh, was able to translate into a better MRT clearance before the allograph into an improved probability of disease-free survival and overall survival and in an increased percentage of patients able to proceed with an allograph. The results of this important randomized trial were perfectly online with those obtained uh, in uh, uh, Europe uh, with the Angen215 trial in which the randomization was between one curse uh, of blinatunumab versus one curse of conventional, I would say, standard of care consolidation chemotherapy. And uh, these findings clearly will become uh, uh, important for defining what we can certainly define the new standard of care for patients with uh, high risk of first leukemia recurrence or with poor MRD clearance at the end uh, of induction therapy in patients experiencing a late relapse uh, after the initial diagnosis. It's also important uh, to underline that during my talk, uh, I will present still unpublished data clearly showing that a TBI-containing conditioning regimen uh, is able to offer uh, a better probability of leukemia-free survival in children with uh, BCPALL uh, uh, receiving uh, an allograph uh, and uh, uh, this is another important information because it was obtained uh, running a randomized trial uh, in a multi-center scenario. Mm -hmm.